Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Marlboro Black Gold Lace Cigarettes, which are the newest addition to the Marlboro lineup, having come out in May of 2023. It's no longer May as of the recording of this video, and I haven't been able to find these for just about the last month or so. But yesterday, I finally found a pack. So y'all already know, I am just so excited to try these cigarettes right here for the first time. And of course, I am also very excited to let you guys know what I think of them. But why would Marlboro release a new light cigarette? Well, I think there are two main possibilities. The first of which being, simply put, keeping up with the Joneses. Last year, Camel also released a new light cigarette and maybe that cigarette was more successful than not. And Marlboro took notice and they were like, yo, we need to release a new light cigarette as well. That one did really well, so we think ours is gonna do really well as well. And so maybe that was a factor. But I think the more plausible um, reality of the situation is just simply put that Marlboro realized that the Marlboro Black lineup doesn't have any light cigarettes in it, nor has it ever. And so if people who have been smoking Marlboro Blacks for years start to want to smoke a lighter cigarette, there is a possibility that they might leave Marlboro to find a light cigarette that is more to their preference than any of the, uh, than any of the other light cigarettes that are available in Marlboro's lineup right now. I think that is probably the more real possibility, and that is why I think Marlboro introduced this cigarette right here, just simply because they're scared that people might leave the Marlboro brand if they don't offer a light cigarette that is to the preference of Marlboro black smokers. And I definitely do think that this cigarette is going to be very much a Marlboro black but lighter. I think it is definitely going to be a more bold um, light cigarette than not, that is for sure. It's in the Marlboro Black line after all, and Marlboro Black cigarettes tend to be pretty heavy if I do say so myself. Of course, this is by no means going to be the heaviest one. It is a light cigarette after all, but I am definitely thinking it is going to be a pretty heavy light if I had to guess. I'm thinking taste-wise, there's probably going to be a uh, sort of like sweet and sour sort of uh, like um, a sweet and sour sort of tobacco taste if I had to guess. Probably, sadly, with a tinge of a uh, chemical taste in there as well. I'm thinking body-wise, this is going to have a pretty big body for a light cigarette. And I'm thinking the airflow is probably going to be pretty good. I'm thinking that the draw is probably going to be slightly restricted due to the possibility of there being perforation on the filter. I do certainly expect there to be at least one line of perforation on the filter. And I'm thinking roughness and smoothness wise, these are probably going to be harsher light cigarettes than not, but I don't think they're gonna be super harsh by any means. Those are pretty much my expectations for this pack of cigarettes right here in all honesty. But without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and hop into the packaging of, well, this pack of cigarettes right here, the Marlboro Black Gold light cigarettes. After I go over the packaging, I'm going to go ahead and get the cellophane all off. I'm going to go and get the pack of cigarettes all open up. I'm going to let you guys know what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get one of the Marlboro Black Gold light cigarettes all lit up. And I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what I actually think of, well, these cigarettes right here. But first off, as said, we got to go ahead and cover the packaging, which I will admit looks pretty good. It's certainly not a bad look by any means. It's not a super classy look. It's not a super luxury look, but it's also not a super budget look or anything like that kind of thing. Frankly put, it looks like a pack of Marlboros that is uh, meant to be edgy, but it looks distinctly like a pack of Marlboros that is a light cigarette because of the gold right here and everything like that kind of thing. And I think that's exactly what they were going for. I think they were really trying to make it clear, hey, look, this is a Marlboro Black, but it's light. And I think they did that perfectly fine in all honesty. I think they did a great job designing this pack of cigarettes. It's nothing new, really. It's nothing exorbitant, but I think they did a great job with this pack of cigarettes. Nonetheless, that is for sure. I think first off, I'm just going to go ahead and cover the top of the packaging up here. We can see there is a very, very, very nice black background um, for the top of the packaging. And then we can see making the ribbon just a little bit more emphasized. There is a very, very, very thick, very, very, very bold gold line right here in the shape of the Marlboro ribbon. The top of the packaging definitely 
is still very reminiscent of the Marlboro ribbon. It doesn't really look any different from normal packs of Marlboro cigarettes or anything like that kind of thing. And it definitely is a good look in my personal opinion. This very, very, very thick gold line right here though is all very heavily embossed. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. I am a big fan of embossment, that is for sure. Moving on to the bottom part of the packaging though, we can see there is a background of white, which looks pretty good. We can just see in very, very, very distinct black text, it just says Marlboro right here. And this is all very, very, very heavily embossed as well. But other than that, it is pretty much just the classic Marlboro logo. Above the Marlboro logo right here, we can see the Philip Morris logo. We can see two horses on either side, a crown up top, and then like an oval right here with a, a banner going underneath. Uh, the inside of the oval has a background of white, whereas the rest of the logo right here is made up of sort of a dark slate gray, I definitely have to say. But you know, the inside of the oval right there has a very nice uh, black background to it, very much the same color that we see on the Marlboro logo itself or on this black background right here. But inside the oval, inside the black background, it just says PM USA right there. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And then moving on below all of this right here, we can see there is just a black line just going around the bottom of the packaging. And that black line goes all the way around the packaging. And it is notable to mention as well that the design on the front of the packaging stretches all the way around. It's not just this black line right here. The ribbon stretches all the way around the packaging. This black stretches all the way around the packaging. And I am a big fan of that, that is for sure. Now that is something that is pretty standard for most Marlboro packs, I will admit. But it is something that I do like seeing every single time I see it, that is for sure. From a distance, this pack of cigarettes is very, very, very distinct in my personal opinion. It is super recognizable as a pack of Marlboros from a distance. It's very recognizable as a pack of Marlboro Blacks from a distance because of the black top. And it is very recognizable as the new Marlboro Black Golds because of the gold border right here. I literally went into the uh, shop I bought this at and I was like, hey, do you guys have the, the new Marlboro Black Golds kind of thing? And they were like, yeah, we got it. What do you want? Uh, shorts or uh, hundreds? And I was like, I'll take shorts. And I just look over where the guy's grabbing and I, I just could instantly see this pack of cigarettes. It was so recognizable. It was so easy to spot. This pack of cigarettes, I think they've done a great job with it in all honesty. I really do think they've done a great job with it. The really, really, really distinct gold line really is the perfect size to be seen from a distance in my personal opinion. I think if it was any smaller, this pack of cigarettes would be not as distinct from a distance. It would not be distinctly a Marlboro uh, black gold. It would just be distinctly a Marlboro black instead, but it wouldn't be clear which one. And they wanna make it clear which one this is, especially since it's so new. And I really do think that they've done a good job at doing that, that is for sure. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Uh, there's not really any other details to the front of the packaging, but as I'm sure you guys can tell, I am a bigger fan of it than not. And I do think it looks a little bit edgy as well. And I like my edgy cigarette packaging, that is for sure. But moving on to the back of the packaging, we can just see it is exactly the same as the front. There are no major differences. And in fact, there are no d differences at all. The Marlboro logo back here, still embossed. This is still embossed. And this is still embossed as well. There are quite literally no differences between the back and the front of the packaging. Moving on to this side of the packaging right here, though, we can see on the top right here, we have the black, um, but we have the black background, not border, black background. And then we can see it goes to the gold line right here, which sadly on the sides of the pack is not embossed. And then it just goes to white down here with that black line that stretches all the way across right here. On top in silver, it just says underage silver prohibited as uh, I think all packs of cigarettes in the United States are required to say. Then it just says down here, the Surgeon General Warning, and that just says in black, uh, Surgeon General Warning. Surgeon General Warning, quitting smoking now greatly reduces serious risks to your health. Well, I want serious risks to my health, so I ain't gonna quit no time soon, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Uh, but that's pretty much all there is to this side of the packaging. Moving on to the other side of the pack, we can see in gray up here, it just says for product information, 1-800-627-5200, and then it just says pmusa.com, uh, and that's just on a background of black, and then we can just see that gold line right there, and then it goes to white down here with that um, black line right there as well. We can see though that the uh, cellophane pull is all in gold. So it is uh, making it a little bit hard to see what this text says right here. But from what I can tell, it just says for special offers, marlboroblack.com limited to eligible smokers at 21 and up. And then under that in white, it just says 20 class A cigarettes. And then under that, it just says, please don't litter, which I do appreciate that is for sure. Please don't litter. Um, 
but some of the text right here is in a sort of like slate gray, and then this is in white to emphasize it, and then this is all in white to emphasize it, and everything like that kind of thing. Very, very, very interesting. Then we could just see the gold line right here, and then we could just see in the uh, classic Marlboro font in black, we could just see it just says Marlboro, and then it just says black, and then it just says gold pack right there in gold, and then under all of that in black, once again, it just says Philip Morris USA, Richmond, Virginia, uh, 23261. And then we can just see the barcode right here. Of course, these are indeed FSC compliant as all USA cigarettes are required to be, but the barcode looks pretty good, that is for sure. And that's pretty much all there is to this side of the pack. Uh, moving on to the top of the packaging, we can see that indeed these are um, Marlboro Reward Illegible uh, cigarettes. Some Marlboros are not Marlboro Reward Illegibles. Uh, these are indeed Marlboro uh, Reward Illegibles, so certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. The background on the top of the packaging is a really, really, really nice, uh, just sort of black background, I definitely have to say. It's the exact same black background that we see right here on the front of the packaging and on the back of the packaging, and so it just stretches all the way up to the top of the packaging as well, and we can just see it stretches from every single side. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Just says Marlboro in silver on the top of the pack is this embossed I do believe it is embossed I do believe that is embossed certainly no complaints on my behalf and then there is an underline in gold right below that to emphasize that this is indeed the Marlboro black golds then we can just see it just says the Marlboro reward stuff right there with the Marlboro ribbon and then a circle going around that and it just says um, rewards Marlboro.com whatever 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 smokers 21 plus uh, code entry and terms at marlborowards.com. Yeah, it's pretty much what it says. That's all in silver. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Moving on to the bottom of the packaging, it's a much more simple look, but it is a look that still looks pretty decent nonetheless, that is for sure. We can see the background is white, and that white background just stretches around from every single side. So once again, the packaging just goes all the way around, which I really, really, really do like, that is for sure. And then we can just see what looks like the front, the design, the Marlboro ribbon on the front of the pack. We can just see gold, uh, sorry, we could just see black on top and then gold right here looking pretty good if I do say so myself and that's just meant to be a simplistic version of the Marlboro ribbon on the front of the packaging and it makes it pretty clear as long as you know what this packaging looks like that this is indeed the Marlboro gold the Marlboro Black Gold Pack. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. That's pretty much all there is to the bottom of the packaging besides this uh, little uh, number, these little numbers right here, which just say V117N34D3, I want to say. Um, but you know, that's pretty much all there is to the packaging. Overall, as I'm sure you guys can tell, I am a pretty big fan of it. I'm a pretty big fan of most Marlboro packaging in all honesty. Uh, this looks pretty corporate design. That isn't really a bad thing though. I think it looks pretty good. They're taking the classic Marlboro ribbon and just putting a new spin on it, and I think they've done a great job at doing that. It's a very nice classic look that I think will age pretty well in years to come. It's the Marlboro ribbon after all. It's an iconic look, so why would it not look good for years to come? I think it looks great from a distance. I think it looks great up close. It's not a super classy or luxury cigarette pack, but it also by no means looks like a budget pack of cigarettes. It just looks like a mid-range cigarette that is made by Marlboro and is a light cigarette. And uh, I think that's exactly what they're going for, and I really do think that they nailed it in all honesty. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about this pack of cigarettes right here, though. I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and get the cellophane all off, which has a very nice gold pull tab right there. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the quality of the packaging. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of the cigarettes all out. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what these cigarettes look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. But first off, I gotta go ahead and get the cellophane all off just like that. Go and shove that in my backpack. Gotta make sure I ain't littering or nothing like that. And let's just go ahead and take a look at what the uh, quality of the pack is like and everything like that kind of thing, what the textures are on it. Uh, this, uh, the top right here seems to be very much sort of a, um, I'd have to say a, a glossy matte that is a kind of slick kind of thing, but has some texture to it. Then it goes to sort of a sticky glossy, I definitely have to say, and then the rest of the packaging is made up of that sort of like sticky glossy texture, with this being the only uh, area on the packaging that has a different texture. And yeah, it's the same on the sides and the same on the back as well. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. This pack of cigarettes smells pretty good right off the bat. I haven't even opened it up in it. I just got an instant smell from the cigarettes in. Yeah, they smell pretty good, I ain't gonna lie. These definitely do smell pretty good. I am hoping for a good smoke, I ain't gonna lie. I am hoping for a good smoke, that is for sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, the quality of the packaging seems to be pretty good. There's a little bit of a, a tab right here that I can kind of flick with my finger. Um, and on this side as well, uh, it's by no means like super fantastic quality packaging, but it's average kind of thing, as 
99% of cigarette packs tend to be. Uh, there's only that one, that 1% 1 is like really low quality and, and, and really high quality kind of thing. And this is about average in all honesty. This is about average, as as said, 99% of cigarette packs are. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes all opened up. And let's go ahead and take a look at what the cigarettes actually look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. And one thing I, I do want to mention as well, just, re just real quick, is that, that the packaging looks so much better with the cellophane off, as all cigarette packs do. That's one thing I wanted to say. Let's go ahead and get the pack of cigarettes all opened up. Then we can see on the cigarette lid right here, there is indeed a Marlboro Rewards code. Now, uh, I would offer it to you guys, but actually I'm gonna be taking it when I get home. So I do apologize, this Marlboro Rewards code is already taken. I've stolen it myself, you know what I'm saying? I've stolen it myself, but it's just on a gold background. And it just says uh, smokers21 plus code entry and terms at marlboro.com. And then it just says the code right there in white. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. We can see the insert for this pack of cigarettes right here is indeed black, which I like seeing. I like seeing the color matched cigarette insert. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And I love seeing the color matched foil right here. And that foil contains a Marlboro ribbon on it, making it very, very, very clear that this is indeed a Marlboro black. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. I really, really, really do love the color matched foil. Uh, let's see what the texture of this like. It definitely is a lot more papery than not. It's not like super foily, but it's a very, very, very malleable uh, paper texture, I definitely have to say. Let's see how easily it pulls out. Pulls out pretty easily. Certainly no complaints my cap. Let's go ahead and shove that in my backpack. And we can see that right off the bat, the cigarettes do indeed have cork style filters, even though they are indeed a light cigarette, supposedly at least. You know, cork style filters, I guess, just to emphasize that even though these are light cigarettes when compared to the rest of the Marlboro black line, um, that they are really not all that light in all honesty. Very, very, very interesting. I was definitely expecting these to have white cigarette filters, but I do think that the, um, the uh, what was I about to say? I do definitely think that the uh, cork style looks better uh, just simply because uh, these are Marlboro blacks and that's kind of the look Marlboro blacks been going for. Smelling the cigarette right off the bat, it actually smells really, really, really good. I, I'm i getting a really nice sort of like Virginia blend smell off of this. And I, I know I usually color what the, co co I know I usually color, I know, I know I usually cover what the look of the cigarette is beforehand and everything like that kind of thing before I smell the cigarette, but these just smelled so good I didn't want to wait. These just smell so good I didn't want to wait. Wow. I'm getting a really, really, really nice sort of nutty Virginia blend smell. Well, with an amazing smell like that, I really do hope for an amazing taste. But wow, these almost smell like seven stars from Japan or State Express 555 Golds from the United States or a lighter piece from Japan or kind of like a Kentucky's Best Red as well. Nah, not, not too much like a Kentucky's Best Red, but kind of, kind of. Wow, these smell really good though. I really I don't have the highest expectations for these. But the smell is really trying to make me think that these are going to be really good. Because this smells so much to my preference. It smells so good. And I am more hyped than ever to try this cigarette now that I've smelled it. Wow. Yeah, a really, really, really nice. Nutty, yet yeah, sort of chocolatey tobacco taste very 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 sweet virginia blend taste wow these smell really good these smell really good i am very impressed i ain't gonna lie i am very impressed well let's go ahead and take a look at the actual look of the cigarette itself we can see of course there is a cork style filter then on the bottom of the cork style filter we can just see there is a burgundy line right there i don't know why there's a burgundy line and not a gold line but either way it still doesn't look too bad by any means or anything like that kind of thing i figure they might just be using the same tubes that they use for um like full flavored marlboro blacks maybe that's why it's got a burgundy line on there because the burgundy is kind of reminiscent of the marlboro blacks um that are full flavored and everything like that kind of thing but it's been a while since i've had one of those so do take what i say with a grain of salt then on the paper itself we can see it just has Mar the marlboro ribbon right there and of course black and that's pretty much all there is look wise to this cigarette itself taking a look at the filter is there any perforation well i was expecting a lot of perforation but uh, i'll be frank i don't know if i'm seeing one 
I'm not sure if I'm seeing one. I need my glasses in all honesty. I have, oh no, there is, there is one very, I almost missed it. I was about to say there's no lines of perforation, but there is indeed one absolutely tiny line of perforation with tiny, 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 tiny dots, but there are a lot of dots on there. If there were less dots, I would have never noticed it. But yes, there is indeed one line of perforation as I predicted there was going to be. But since it's so small in all honesty, I don't think it'll have too much of an effect. Hopefully the effect it has is positive rather than negative, like some perforation. But uh, yeah, this is shaping up to be a cigarette that I certainly am very excited to smoke. Is there anything else I wanted to say? Yeah, I do suppose I should probably talk about the blend of tobacco on the inside. The blend of tobacco is very much a medium blend in my personal opinion at least. It definitely comes off a little bit light, a little bit dark kind of thing, probably a little bit darker than light. Um, so yeah, I'd have to say like a medium dark blend of tobacco. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. <coughs> so, excuse me. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. But I think that's all I wanted to say about the look, the quality, the feel, the smell of the cigarette, and everything like that kind of thing. It's a pretty good quality cigarette as a whole that smells absolutely amazing. Uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go and take a sip of water, and then after that, I'm gonna go and get the cigarette all lit up. I swear, I'm gonna be pissed if this tastes like pure chemicals, because it smells so damn good. It smells so damn good. So damn good. I really want this to be good. I really want this to be good. But I haven't been smoking Marlboros lately because they all taste like pure chemicals to me. I, they, they really do. They really do. I really hope that this one does not. But I still expect it to. Even though it does smell just so good. Oh my god. I would love a candle that smells like this. It smells so good. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Well, without further ado, I do suppose it is now time for me to go ahead and get one of my Marlboro Black Gold cigarettes all lit up and now it is time for me to go ahead and let you guys know what I actually think of well these cigarettes right here without further ado let's go ahead and get this cigarette all lit up yes sir yes sir you know what I'm saying I'm saying I'm just gonna go and grab a little bit of a screenshot real quick Well, hopefully that'll do. I got a bunch of smoke in my eye, so I might just end up redoing that after this video, but it certainly is what it is, that is for sure. Right off the bat though, what is the taste of this cigarette like? It is not exactly what I was hoping for, of course, to be expected, but it is a better taste than not. That is more to my preference than I honestly was expecting. The taste of the tobacco itself is very much a surprisingly mildly sweet Virginia blend sort of taste. That's very much what it tastes like kind of thing. There is a little bit of a low quality paper taste in there as well, but it's not, it's not too significant. It's, it's not too significant. I'm not tasting any chemical taste right now, right off the bat, but I do kind of expect to taste some of that coming on later on in the cigarette. Maybe I just haven't noticed it yet. I do feel like there's more to the taste than just what I described though. So let's go ahead and take another hit and let's see if I can describe the taste any better. See, so yeah, I'd have to say it is a bold taste, don't get me wrong, but a mild taste at the same time. Um, which is kind of what I was expecting. It's a Marlboro Black. It's going to be more bold than not, but it's a light, so it's going to be more mild than not. It is definitely a bold yet mild taste, that is for sure. And the taste is very much that of a... Virginia Blend-esque cigarette. That is for sure. It's very Virginia Blend-esque. Very nice, very sweet. Mild, not very sweet, sorry. Mildly sweet, very nice, mild sweetness. A slight bit of nuttiness in there as well, I will admit. But not too much of it. Not too much of it. 
Other than that, that's pretty much the taste in all honesty. This cigarette is burning pretty quickly as well, so I've got to get a move on with uh, the other metrics I use to rate cigarettes and everything like that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, no, the, the taste is a, a very much a, um, a sort of very nice, bold, yet mild Virginia blend taste with a slight hints of um, nuts, but, but not much. It's just sort of a, a sweet Virginia taste in all honesty. Um, and there is a little bit of paper taste in there, and I am getting a little bit of chemical taste in there as well, which is a little bit of a disappointment, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and test the body real quick. Body is absolutely huge for a light cigarette. I ain't gonna lie, absolutely massive body. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Let's go and test the airflow real quick. The airflow all throughout the cigarette, though, if I'm remembering correctly, has been pretty good, but let's go and test the airflow at this point. The airflow is uh, pretty good, of course, to be expected. And the draw is uh, a little bit constricted, but, but not significantly so. I'd say if it's just about perfect for my personal preference, in all honesty. It's, it's not super constricted by any means, but there is a little bit of constriction there just to give the cigarette some significance. Not a bad amount by any means. Not super exorbitant, that is for sure. Roughness and smoothness-wise, how is this cigarette? Why well, I'd have to say it's definitely rougher than not for a light cigarette. It comes off very much like a medium cigarette. It does not really come off like a light, light cigarette. It very much comes off like a medium cigarette, and so it has medium roughness. It's not quite as rough as a full-flavored cigarette, nor is it quite as smooth as a light cigarette. I'd have to say this is probably about a 5 out of 10 on the roughness to smoothness scale, with a 10 being the roughest and a 1 being the smoothest. But, you know, overall, so far, these are okay. These are okay. Yeah. Let's go and test the body one more time. Body, still pretty decent sized as we can tell. And uh, these certainly do burn pretty fast, I ain't gonna lie y'all. The filter gets quite mushy as we get towards the end and we can see there is a decent amount of tar coming through and the filter also does get quite warm as we get towards the end as well. I'm gonna go ahead and stub out my cigarette though and go ahead and make sure the ash is all out and everything like that kind of thing. But uh, without further ado, now that I've gone ahead and stubbed out my cigarette and we can see the filter does indeed go into the cork just a little bit, but not significantly so. I do think it is now time for me to go ahead and cover my final thoughts on the Marlboro black gold light cigarettes which are the newest addition to the marlboro lineup so what are my final thoughts on these cigarettes right here i think the packaging is uh, pretty good if i do say so myself it's um very 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 distinct from a distance it looks good up in close up, up close in your hand and everything like that kind of thing it's not a luxury look it's not a budget look it's not a classy look or anything like that kind of thing it looks like a pack of marlboros and i think they've done a pretty good job and making it look very distinctly like a pack of marlboro blacks as well um but a pack of light marlboro blacks i think they've done a really good job with this packaging i really do like it the quality of the packaging is pretty good as a whole definitely on par kind of thing on par in my personal opinion the inside of the pack of cigarettes looks pretty good in my personal opinion as well um but wow loud truck loud truck i ain't gonna lie y'all um but um what was i about to say i completely lost my train of thought yeah the inside of the pack of cigarettes looks pretty good um the cigarettes themselves look pretty good as well kind of thing got the cork style filter with the burgundy line right there and the uh marlboro ribbon in black certainly no complaints on my behalf but uh, my main complaints with these cigarettes starts to come on when you actually smoke them. I think the packaging is great. I think the quality is great. Uh, of the packaging is great. Let me put it that way. Um, I think the, um, the the look of the cigarettes is pretty good. I think the inside of the pack looks pretty good. I like it all kind of thing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan. But I wouldn't buy this pack of cigarettes again. I wouldn't buy it again, frankly put. And I say this as somebody who actually likes mild cigarettes. I don't like super heavy cigarettes. I also don't like light cigarettes. I like more mild, full-flavored cigarettes. And this comes off like a mild, full-flavored cigarette. It comes off like a medium cigarette, not quite like a light, not quite like a full-flavored. It comes off more like a medium cigarette. And that is very much my preference, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But I wouldn't buy this pack of cigarettes again. Now, the smell of the cigarettes is fantastic. I really do like the smell of the cigarettes. And the taste, when taken at a glance, is pretty good you get a nice sort of bold yet mild sweet Virginia blend like taste. That's the kind of taste you get from this cigarette right here. And that's a really nice taste. 
But then as you continue smoking, you notice a sort of like low quality paper taste. And then as I continued smoking more, I started noticing just the tiniest bit of like an additive taste kind of thing, a chemical taste. And um, then that chemical taste got a little bit stronger and it started getting a little bit sour kind of thing. That could have been a, a different blend of tobacco in there. There was definitely a little bit of, a, of sweetness and sourness in there, that is for sure. But the main part of the sourness had a really distinct sort of chemical taste to it, which is definitely not very much to my preference. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I don't mind sweet and sour cigarettes by any means, but when there's a chemical taste in there, I'm not such a big fan of it. And the chemical taste definitely did seem to provide a more sour taste than not, making this a more sour, um, making this a more sweet and sour cigarette than not. Uh, the body though was really big for a for a, for a light cigarette quote unquote um and um the the airflow was good the the draw was good very much to my preference and the the smoothness and roughness was very much to my preference is why i like a little bit of harshness but not too much by any means and this pretty much did deliver in all honesty but i am disappointed about the chemical and paper taste in all honesty i am disappointed about those if this cigarette didn't have those tastes, I really do think it might be a, a runner-up for one of my top Marlboros in all honesty. But uh, it does have a chemical taste to it. And that chemical taste, as you continue smoking, gets more and more overwhelming, overwhelming just a little bit, that Virginia taste. Although the taste in my mouth at the moment is still very much that sort of Virginia blend taste. I am still getting that very nice Virginia blend taste in my mouth. I'll be with um, some chemical taste aftertones as well. So what is the rating I'm thinking for this pack of cigarettes right here? Well, before I go ahead and cover the rating, I figure I should probably cover similar cigarettes. Now, surprisingly, while I was smoking this, I actually got really surprised. This tastes more similar than not to the new Camel Golds that released in 2022, um, which is very interesting, I will admit. Although the Camel Golds, in my personal opinion, have less of a paper taste, have less of a chemical taste, and I prefer those over these, but this does taste surprisingly similar to those. I'd have to say this is a little bit more similar than not to, uh, it, it's not very comparable in my personal opinion to Marlboro Lights, Marlboro Golds, normal just Marlboro Golds, the, the normal base level Marlboro Golds kind of thing. Not very comparable to those taste-wise. Those have a very distinct paper taste. I'd have to say Blend 27s, decently comparable to these. I'd have to say Camel Turkish Golds to an extent comparable to these. I'd have to say Southern Cuts, ah, eh, not really in all honesty, but Blend 27s more so than not. Um, and it's been a very long time since I've had the Marlboro Gold Special Selects, but I feel like this might taste a little bit similar to those as well. Yeah, not a cigarette I'd buy again, but I don't think I'm going to mind smoking the rest of this pack of cigarettes right here. Am I going to enjoy smoking the rest of this pack of cigarettes? Ah, uh, I guess. Uh, I'll smoke them. I don't want to let them go to waste. They're not bad enough for me to want to waste this pack of cigarettes, but I wouldn't buy them again. I wouldn't buy them again. But if you smoke Marlboros normally, or if you don't mind a chemical or paper taste while you're smoking your cigarettes, I do think that these might be more to your preference than not. If you like mildly sweet cigarettes. Yeah, excuse me. I think that's all I wanted to say. Besides the rating, I almost forgot to give these a rating. What is the rating I'm thinking for this pack of cigarettes right here, though? Well, I am very much thinking a solid, oof. Chemical taste, additive taste, it really brings it down a lot, but the taste of these, even with that chemical taste, additive taste, is very much to my preference. Very much to my preference. The taste, if it didn't have a chemical or additive taste, is to my preference. But um, I'm thinking a seven out of 10 for these right here. Trying to be harsher with my ratings as of late, so I'm thinking a seven out of 10. I would not buy these again, but I will smoke the rest of the pack of these, but I'm not sure, I'm not so sure how much I'm going to enjoy them. That is for sure. Seven out of 10 for the Marlboro Black Gold Light Cigarettes, which are the newest addition to the Marlboro lineup having come out in May of 2023. I think that's all I wanted to say. Well, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching my review of the new Marlboro Black Gold Light cigarettes, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my uh, second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. Vienna, thank you so much for watching. Y'all to the next one. Stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?